Well, I am going to be talking about uh, the action I'd like to speak about tonight has to do with restoring native plant biodiversity to the urban landscape, which creates resiliency in the face of climate change. And I think it's important to stress that the biodiversity crisis isn't just about losing numbers of species, it's also about losing all the relationships be between species, like including humans. So the relationships be between species and all life. And what we've tended to do rather than kind of um, enhancing biodiversity is what we've tended to do is to simplify the landscape to create these monocultures of lawn, for example, or near monocultures of a really limited uh, number of introduced plants. So one of the very valuable actions that we can take to address the biodiversity crisis and the climate crisis, which of course are you know, intimately linked together, the biodiversity and the climate crisis. So one of the things we can do to address these, one of the actions we can take is to foster relationships on the land and relationships with the land. And there are many, many ways to do that. And I'm going to focus on how we can do that through gardening. And I call it gardening, but you know, we could just as easily use other terms like cultivation or nurturing or healing or restoration or tending the earth or naturalization. There are all these different terms. I like to think of gardening as a conversation with the planet that we're having and as building a relationship with the earth and with other people. And like any good relationship, I want it to be based on respect and generosity and caring and connection and joy. So I'm gonna focus particularly on native plant gardening. Um, and the reason um, why is that native plants are plants that have over this very long evolutionary time scale developed all kinds of interrelationships uh, and connections in a myriad of ways um, with all of the life and with all of the conditions of a particular place. And these all contribute to healthy ecological functioning. Now, some of these relationships, particularly the relationships between um, plants and pollinators, so plants and insects, some of these relationships are incredibly specific. Um, you know, there's this tiny sweat bee that has a narrow, narrow preference for the pollen of one particular native plant. So that, that um, species of bee, um, you know, it, it has formed this relationship and depends on it in some ways. So there are these very specific relationships, and then there are some that are more generalized. But the point is that um, the, it's those functional relationships that we're supporting when we garden with native plants and when we return native plants to the urban landscape. And what's really great about this work and the hopeful thing is that when you do it, the, when you restore habitat, the creatures will find that habitat. Here's an example in Calgary where um, they restored native plants to a, a pollinator corridor in the city and then um, a, a rare species of bee was discovered soon afterwards. Another really um, uh, important thing about this work that makes it quite meaningful is that wherever you're doing it and at whatever school, uh, at, at whatever scale you're doing it, it's meaningful, it has value, it matters. It's definitely not just yards or gardens, but it's also boulevards and laneways and balconies and parks and school grounds and community centers and faith centers all over. And your guide can be natural processes, the way that leaves um, uh, break down and um, restore the, the soil, the way that wet spots um, that can be uh, planted with rain gardens infiltrate water into the and recharge the groundwater, the way that the abundance of nature, which in our aesthetic sense we might call messiness, actually is very, very important and valuable and generative. So let's find beauty in the complexity of nature. Let's recreate that beauty and biodiversity everywhere in the city. Let's create the conditions for complexity and let's celebrate this complexity everywhere in our communities. Thank you.